Afrobeat musician and activist Sheung Kuti has said that the protest going on across the country is no longer about the special anti-robbery squad and the reformation of the entire police. He said the protests have gone beyond that as a new agenda against government's anti-people activities has emerged. The protests have continued across the country despite government's announcement of the scrapping of SARS and agreeing to meet the demands of the protesting youths. The music artist noted it was necessary that the government addressed the protesters. People should not sit in their high offices in Abuja. Bring yourself off your high horse. Come and relate with the people that just voted for you. Come and really hear what is going on, he said. Speaking on the alleged hijack of the protest as some government officials may have believed, the Afrobeat the Afrobeat star dismissed the claims and urged those in authority to rather view it as an opportunity. Don't feel victimized. Don't think there is somebody trying to get to you or get you. No, these are your people trying to talk to you, he said. This is actually a movement that we can actually build a bridge between the government and the people. But they don't want to hear that. The slogan might be end SARS, but the mission is to change the relationship we have with the government in this country. As soon as the government starts to really hear the people in terms of those things that we are demanding, in terms of good governance, in terms of bringing the things that really matter to us, to the front of their own preoccupation, Sheung Kuti said, We have a government in place and we believe that they should do the job as some of the highest paid politicians in the world. They should be the hardest workers for their people. But we tend to have a country where the people continue to work to make things easier for those in government. And it shouldn't be that way. A country should work for the benefit of the people. So, what are we saying? What we are saying is that there must be a change in the relationship between the people, the government, and our commonwealth. How it is distributed and those that benefit from it. This is what the people are saying, and this is what we have always been saying. It is not just about police reforms. That is not all you owe us. You owe us good schools, livable wages, high standard of living, all the quality things that you and your family members enjoy in this country and outside of it. We, at least, deserve to enjoy it here. For me, personally, I don't want to back down and I think the people of Nigeria also don't want to back down. I am a servant of the people and I follow the people, he said. Alright guys, this is what is going on under a lot of people are already lending their voices, joining the protest as they can, you know, and uh, it is what it is, it is happening. The government must do the needful. Like uh, Sheokuti has said, you know, the, 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 
Mission is not answers. The mission is not answers. So they may be thinking, if the government is thinking that answers is uh, the mission, then they are getting it wrong. The slogan is answers, but the mission is to change the relationship between the, uh, the government and the people. And that is what the, this particular um, uh, protest is all about. Until the government understands that the relationship between the government and the people is important, is sacrosanct, then they probably might not uh, be getting it well. They will be getting it wrong. So I stand to be corrected. Be that as it were, Nigerians are demanding for good governance. Nigerians are demanding for a lot of things. So it is um, it is important that the government understand that what Nigerians are demanding for is bigger than answers. Answers is just uh, the beginning. So it has to be uh, dealt with until they, the people see reactions and see what the government have done or has done concerning it, then nothing will work. The people will not leave the streets. And uh, if they think that the people cannot afford to stay on the streets for uh, months, they, then they might just be joking. They have not begun the process until they do. And if they do not do it and do it immediately, then they may have to deal with much more than they are dealing with right now. Because from the look of things, things will escalate to other control, other, other uh, states, and there might just be a total shutdown, the mother of all protests on this uh, in this nation. Already it has been said that there has never been any protest like this, that it has ever since in the history of Nigeria, there have never been a movement or a protest like what is going on, the NSAS protest. So, if the president wants uh, a better uh, atmosphere, then he had better listen to the people, address the people. For God's sake, what is wrong with the president? What would wrong in a situation like this? You expect that the president will be at the forefront leading, not pushing people out there, but he will be at the forefront leading, giving daily updates on the situation of things every night every evening or every morning he would give an update on what has been done what was done yesterday what was agreed upon today and what has been done today and he, the next day he will give a report of the same thing how it works not somebody coming to tell us that nobody can order the president about then if you say nobody can order the, why is he the president who gave him that position he is meant to serve that is what people are talking about he was appointed when he was going about canvassing for votes. He flew all through the 36 states of Nigeria and Abuja, pleading and begging for people to vote him, to support him, and that the people did. But after that, what happened? He abandoned the people. He abandoned the people, turned his back on them. And now, some people who work for him, who the citizens pay their salaries, who the citizens pay their allowances, who the citizens' tax pay for everything that they enjoy, uh, withstanding or giving the president wrong information, being economical with the truth, you know, being myopic about the, the movement that is ongoing, and uh, they are feeling that they are too big to address the nation. It is totally unacceptable. And that is what the youths are standing on as saying that no, enough is enough. The starting point for the government is NSAS. If you NSAS, deal with the 505 request that has been say, that has been laid down, then we take it up from there. But so far, none of those uh, uh, demands has been met. You NSAS, you rename it to SWAT. It is special weapons and tactics in squad or whatever. It is not acceptable. The country belongs to the youth. Power belongs to the people, not to anybody, not to any Mr. Integrity, not to any government. Or Power belongs to the people. If the people have appointed you to serve them, then you have to serve and give reports back to the people. That is how it is. I stand to be corrected. But uh, the protest 
is going to be massive because it does not look like this uh, government is ready to listen or to grant the wish and desire of the people. Well, it is what it is, guys. Drop by in the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever we post new stories. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.